Hello, hello my Hive Tribe, it's Queenie Urbane and welcome back to my channel. Now today I wanted to come to you all with a quick video. I've been getting a lot of feedback on my gastritis video, the videos I made for when I had gastritis. So I'm going to give a little update to you guys on my former gastritis. If you're reading the title, then you know why I'm calling it my former gastritis, as well as the things that I do to prevent it from coming back. Now, I haven't had a flare-up since that video that I made at that time, and I really think it's because of the methods that I've been using to prevent um, any type of inflammation coming in. I do still eat spicy food. I do still enjoy all the indulgence I used to drink before I got diagnosed with gastritis, but I think the things that I've been doing have been really helping me out, either that or the placebo. So I figure I share it with you guys. And, you know, if you implement it in your life, comment below how it can help you or your gastritis journey if you have. Now, before I ramble on, let's dive into the products and things I've been using um, to really help me, you know, keep gastritis away, essentially. If you like this type of content, be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel for more. So first thing first, because I made a video on celery juice, that's going to be the first thing I comment on, is celery juice is my still bona fide main way that I keep gastritis away in terms of I try to drink it every morning. Um, if I don't drink it every morning because there's times where I fall off for like a week or two or something like that, that's totally, totally fine because, you know, I always keep celery juice on me. Um, I don't get flare-ups anymore, but if I'm feeling like, all right, I've been wilding in the foods that I'm eating, like let's say I've been eating mad spicy food, I'm drinking a lot of like alcohol because I've been partying or going out and just, you know, spending time with the girls or whatever, then I'm like, okay, time to re-detox again. And I make myself a full pitcher of celery juice and I drink it every single morning on an empty stomach. I am in my kitchen right now, so let me show you guys. Literally, I just did this recently again because I do this every, almost like two weeks out of the month sometimes <laughs> but yeah so so this is my pitcher it's running out right now but I keep it full I juice it um if I want to have gastro um want to have celery juice for a week I will do it Sunday and then just drink it throughout the week until it runs out and then if I feel like I still need more celery juice then I will rejuice and just start the cycle again but sometimes I just feel like all right that's enough for right now like I'm fine and then I don't like I just chill until I need to do drink celery juice again or I feel like I'm wildin'. So here is my um, pitcher that I keep. This was just a former water filter that I now just keep my celery juice in. I juice it in a regular blender like I did in my first video and put it in here. I also want to show you guys the type of celery I use. This is um, organic um, foxy um, celery, just regular plain old organic celery that I get from BJ's Wholesale because I do drink a lot of celery. So that's one thing ever since I got gastritis. Um, and if you if you watch my celery juice video, um, I still fully drink celery juice. Um, I probably don't drink it every single day, but I drink it a lot. Okay, following that, this is my Holy Grail and it's uh, Moringa Capsules. I use this every single day. I take um, literally one pill. Even though it says two, so if you're really feeling um, gastritis problems or stomach problems, take two, but I take once a day, one a day, every single day, Moringa capsules, and it's really good. It's like another superfood, so think of celery's cousin to the 10th power, like even more stronger. You know, um, that's what Moringa is, so it's a superfood. It has so many, like it's so many benefits that can help in all ways with your body. Specifically, this really does has a um, natural source of antioxidants, all essential amino acids, proteins and minerals, vitamin A through K, and it's just a herbal dietary supplement. Um, I really love it. It's good for um, your immune system. It's also good for anti-inflammation. So it always helps me out. But there are times, like anything in life, where I fall off and I'm just like not taking my vitamins as consistently as I need to. And anytime I feel like I need a boost again like to really protect my stomach the lining and the coating I 
make sure to have this so if there's like a day before where i did like some i don't want to call it heavy drinking because i'm a lady and ladies don't drink we don't get drunk a night where i'm overindulging indulging a little bit more than use the normal and not just with drinking even though that does cause gastritis i'm talking about in terms of what i'm eating if i ate a bunch of spicy food if i'm eating a lot of sweets just anything that can really cause like stomach problems for me then i take two capsules of this the next day or that night and it boosts is my energy like it has a whole lot of other benefits benefits outside of gastritis but I take this every single day to keep back gastritis away because of its anti-inflammation um properties and I literally love it I have not had a flare-up since back then and I'm talking about when I had that flare-up before when I first got diagnosed with gastritis my stomach would hurt so bad and I would get such bad heartburn um from whatever I ate so Moringa and celery juice are my way to go. I also I also like to um, just throw in there, I don't have a physical item of this, but um, I like to throw in that I cut back on coffee a lot. I used to drink coffee faithfully. So yeah, I'm someone who orders their sugar-free French vanilla latte every single day from Starbucks. So like I'm talking about the cashier knows me and everything. And I had to literally just stop drinking coffee for a while when I first... Um, was recovering from gastritis and now i drink coffee but only decaf and i have never really actively on purpose pursued caffeinated coffee again since i got gastritis um so that's kind of the only thing that stuck with me like if i have caffeine it's by mistake or like in soda or something like that which i also cut back on a lot but outside of those things um i genuinely just drink decaf coffee um, all the time and I really think that's something that helps me out a lot as well I try to cut back on how much dairy I consume because that also causes inflammation you know dairy is like with the lactose and everything is the first thing to really woo woo to your body um, but outside of that I still eat fried food I try not to eat it as much but I do eat fried food I do still drink when I go out I have me a nice mojito or whatever which has like you know bubbles in it that have like soda in it so um, I still fully live my life and I haven't had a crazy stomach problem since and I'm talking about I was in excruciating pain I had to stop the way I ate completely and it wasn't until I took celery juice that video I made for you guys is where that stopped before a month straight I was in like sharp pain every time I ate anything and so for it to be a year later haven't had nothing ever happen again like that um, and I've still been drinking celery juice non-stop and now I've added over the last like honestly for f like almost a full year as well like after a month after I filmed that video and posted it for you guys is when I watched Naomi Campbell's like vitamin routine that is what made me order the Moringa capsules so it's been probably 11 months of taking the Moringa capsules every single day or almost every day seriously and not drinking coffee and cutting back on dairy as much as I can more specifically milk um, but that's it that's all that's it and I have not had gastritis since um, thank you God so much because I don't want to go through that pain again and to have to take pills to eat was the most annoying thing in the world and I don't ever want to go through that like once I noticed woo, I fell off my, my routine and I think about that pain from the stomach and having to take pills to eat I said oh hell no and I go right back and grab some more celery and I go right back and grab some more moringa capsules this I have reordered multiple times so I hope it works for you this is what has been working for me I thank you all so much for watching and I have faith that you'll be able to to just stop gastritis so you can live your best life hope to see you in the next video bye